Hi, hello, hi. So, today, what I want to talk to you about is dating and disclosure as a trans person. So, disclosing that you are trans to a date. Do I have to do it? When do I have to do it? How will I do it? All that good stuff. So, the reason why I want to talk about this is because there are plenty of people online and offline who say that trans people need to immediately disclose that they're trans. Like, you're lying to someone if you're going on a date with them and not telling them that you're trans, then you're being deceptive and all this good stuff, and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. So, in my opinion, I don't think you need to right away disclose that you're trans. I don't think that that is something that they absolutely need to know right off the bat because it's like, you're assuming that we're going to immediately have sex. Like, how do I know that I like you? Why do I have to tell you this thing about me that like, what if I come and meet you and you're a jackass? It's like, you don't need to know that I'm trans in order for me to know I don't want to sleep with you. Like, there are, there are a lot of things that we should know about each other before we get to that. So, the argument that a lot of people have is that like, well, you need to disclose because otherwise you're being dishonest and it's just this whole thing that's like you know the person you're on a date with deserves to know and has a right to oh god all all this stuff and it's like well I know that you and all of your cis privilege may have not stopped to think about the dangers that exist in just being trans but here's the thing outing yourself to someone as trans can be a scary and potentially dangerous situation. So yeah, there are a lot of trans people who aren't gonna wanna tell a complete stranger that uh, they're trans because we don't know how that's gonna go. So here's the thing, if you, as the almighty cis, believe that you have a right to know and not have to date, have to date, not have to date a trans person, then here I have this really sick life hack for you, okay, are you ready? Why don't you, as a cis person who does not want to date a trans person, why don't you disclose that information to your dates, all of your dates, before going on dates? Why don't you, why don't you just, that's the way you introduce yourself, like, hi, my name is John, I really don't want to date a trans person. And then, that leaves us, the trans person, in a safe position, where we could just go on that one date with you, or like, oh, I need to go, my mom's calling me, I have this real, uh, sorry, or, you know, we just, we now know, all right, this this person doesn't want to date a trans person, I'm glad I didn't out myself to them, because I don't know how that would have went, but now I know that we are likely incompatible as partners, and that's it, nobody gets hurt, nobody's going to assault you for not wanting to date a trans person, that's not gonna happen, maybe that happens in your fantasy world where you're a victim, but like, in real life, you will not be murdered for being a cis person who doesn't want to date a trans person, trans people might be murdered for just being trans, so that's my life hack for you. Stop putting all of the responsibility and all of that burden on us as trans people where we need to risk our lives, potentially put ourselves in danger just because you don't want to date a trans person. Go ahead, tell them, tell the world, put it on your dating profile. Uh, my name is Stuart and I don't want to date a trans person, so please don't message me if you're trans. That's it, that, that, that's it. You're not, you're not in any danger by doing that. So that's my opinion on that. Now, the next part of this video is for trans people who are on a date or have been on a couple of dates, and want to disclose that they're trans. Because although, you know, Aaron and Sweeney said that cis people should put it in their bio and it's on them to, like, I, I know my advice about cis people telling all of their potential dates that they don't want to date a trans person is likely a better idea, but at the moment, that is not something that currently happens all the time. So yes, we will likely still be put in scenarios where we need to decide when and if and how we are going to out ourselves. So that's what the rest of this video is going to be about. These are just my opinions. I do not get to make all the decisions for everyone in the world. So this is what I think about outing yourself as trans to your date. The first thing to take into consideration is your safety. I think that the safest way to out yourself is either over text message, email, a letter. My personal comfort level with outing myself is from far, or even before I go on the date. I happen to be one of those trans people who I would rather my date knows that I'm trans before I even go on the date, because like, I don't want to deal with a potential transphobe. That's not something I want to deal with. But people who are stealth, for example, may not want to write that they're trans in their dating profile, because people from work or people from school or people from your social circle could see your dating profile and be like, oh, well now we know that that person's trans. So I understand why you might not want to disclose up front. And again, I don't think that it is on you to have to disclose. But if you are disclosing, like I said, my personal comfort level for myself is always to do it online, straight up. Like, don't even message me if you're not okay with trans people. And if I do tell someone, it'll be over text message. If you want to do it in person, based on what I've heard from other people and their experiences, it seems like the safest way to do it in person would be to be in a public space. I'm not saying to stand on a stage in front of a crowd and 
announce your transness, but being in an easily accessible public place where there are other people around, preferably a place that is queer friendly, and making sure that you let another person know where you are and like, hey, I'm disclosing today that I'm trans to this person. I'm gonna be at this place at this time. You could even have your friends stealthily sit in the same cafe as you, just a couple tables down and just like drink their drink and like watch. So that that is what I think would be the safest way to out yourself is if you want to do it in person, otherwise text message is fine. But again, you don't have to out yourself if you don't want to. You could go on like 10 dates with someone and you know, not have sex and just talk to the person, see if you like them, get to know them, and if you don't like them, you don't have to tell them you're trans because you don't have to continue dating them. So again, I don't think your transness is a pivotal part of who you are as a person. And again, if you are a cis person and you disagree with me, feel free to disclose to your date that you do not want to date a trans person. It, like, you're not a victim here. You're allowed to say that. You're allowed to say you don't want to date a trans person, and then we don't have to risk our safety in order to make sure that we are catering to all of the cis people who, God forbid, will date a trans person. Mm -mm -mm. So that's it. That's my opinion on this. Again, just another short video. I'm just gonna continue making short videos on my opinions on things that I don't have a whole bunch of information for, but it's, you know, it's still content. It's still stuff I want to put out there, so hopefully you like this. And, uh, I mean, I guess it'll cater to the people with shorter attention spans, much like myself. Um, hopefully it's enough. Let me know your opinions, leave me your questions or future videos that you'd like me to make, if you'd like me to elaborate on anything, go right ahead. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and a great day, and take care of yourselves. Alright, thanks. Bye.